Happy second anniversary, London National Park City! It's great to be part of the 25 voices for London National Park City. My name is Laure, I'm one of the rangers, and I'm also a proud Londoner since 2012. I am an advocate for the environment and a nature blogger at Frog Mom. My biggest passion is inspiring people to discover new places or to discover a place that they already know from a different angle, a nature and outdoors perspective, for instance. Did you know an incredible 50% of London is either green or blue? We have ponds, forests, rivers, docks, so many places where we can enjoy nature and wellness in the city. So today I'm going to present to you two different projects, a green project and a blue project. I'll start with the green, the Lost Orchard Trail. What is the Lost Orchard Trail? A little backstory. I'm French, and in my father's garden when I grew up, I was used to seeing fruit trees. We were growing apricots, almonds, quinces, all sorts of fruit trees. And I'm also an avid hiker and forager. So when I started walking along London city streets, I noticed that there were a lot of fruit trees. There were sweet chestnut trees, there were cherry trees, apple trees, pear trees, even a crab apple tree next to where I live. And when I found them, I just couldn't help wonder, where do they come from? What is the origin of these trees? Some have been planted by urban planners, but others have actually literally escaped from former orchards. If you could travel back in time in London, slightly outside of the city center, you would be walking along fields of greens and nursery trees providing fruit trees to feed Londoners in the city. The Lost Orchard Trail project is a project to map all these lost orchards that used to exist in London, linking the past with the present of the city, as well as linking lost orchards with existing neighborhood projects and fruit trees that are in city streets. Now, to the blue project that I'm going to talk about, which is open water swimming. My second project is a blue project. It's open water swimming. London is a huge city. It's over 10 million people. And there are lots of places that are blue. We have ponds, rivers, docks, lakes even. And a lot of these places are amazing places to enjoy the city from a different perspective. When you are in the water, you can live or swim next to the migratory waterfowl. You can also enjoy the passing of the seasons with the foliage of the trees. It is an entirely different rhythm and it also, it's also really good for everybody's physical and mental health. Swimming has been known to regulate your breathing and to bring peace of mind. So my project would be to make open water swimming more accessible or actually accessible to all in the city. Because of all activities in the water, swimming is not only enjoyable, but it's actually an essential life skill. It should be a basic right that everybody should know how to swim and should be able to access swimmable waterways in the city. Now, I'm a member of the Serpentine Swimming Club, so I'm partial to swimming in the Serpentine, but there is also the Serpentine Lido during the summer season during the day. I also enjoy swimming at Hebsten Ponds, West Reservoir, and in the Tidal Thames, Porsche, Tidal Thames River, upstream of Putney Bridge. There are many places when people can swim, and I hope that there will be many more, so that everybody can learn to enjoy swimming in the city. You can find me on social media at Frog Mom Blog. It's mom with an O, American spelling. Uh, either on Twitter, on Instagram, or on Facebook. And you can follow my projects, or you can also contact me through my blog at Frog Mom. Thank you very much. I hope to see you soon either on the streets or in the water. Thank you.